So you watched the update video with the many changes in Darkness Falls 4.1. You may have read the patch notes and saw difficult, hard, more pain, increased difficulty, challenging content, and thought, well, this ain't for me. What is Kane doing over here? It was already too hard and now it's even worse. We seem to have this mountain of difficulty that players are forced to climb, and how can this actually really be fun? Welcome to a kind of a part two of the Darkness Falls 4.1 update that was dropped on us at the start of last week. We had quite a few people suggesting that Darkness Falls has all these changes in difficulty, the mod is now much harder and it's getting out of hand. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the context of version 4.1 and its numerous updates and changes, is Darkness Falls too hard? Did this update put it over the top? What in the hell did Kane mean when he said he put back the Alpha 19 game stage scaling which is based primarily on the difficulty level that you choose? This means your game stage increases faster as you level your character. This starts to happen from Nomad with a 50% increase in game stage leveling, Warrior has a 100% increase, Survivalist 200% and Insane is a pretty crazy 400%. So as you level your character, your game stage increases faster depending on your difficulty. This was already in Darkness Falls, not just something that was in Alpha 20. Second, we saw hot and cold effects were introduced. So getting too cold leads to hypothermia, too hot leads to heat stroke. Both lead to reductions in movement speed, food or water, and you can also end up losing health slowly. Third, we have a few things that got nerfed, such as the crowbar for easy lockpicking, the easy exploits of getting water from sap. This meant that it was virtually impossible to die at the start of the game from thirst. Even the steel scrapping of iron exploit was given the heavy hand by Kane's hammer. That of course to me was a waste of time anyway. However, we go on with the nerfs. Crazy harvesting numbers from crops when you use an iron hoe, or the massive amounts of honey from beehives, these all got the nerfing iron. Fourth, food and water consumption has increased with difficulty. It was already there but not in all its glory. Meat and or mining resources are also decreased by 25% with each difficulty level. We move on, each level of difficulty like Warrior, Survivors and Insane has an extra 25% decrease in damage to monsters. So Insane difficulty has a whopping 75% reduction to damage to all monsters if you happen to not do a headshot. So headshots are always important in Darkness Falls. Kane has also increased the rates of infection, so it is now deadlier and the time it takes to progress has been more than halved. Right, so now we have been slapped around quite silly with all these difficulty changes and you are having nightmares of being visited by demons on day 14 just as you get your first AK-47. So what has been done to relieve the pressure? Now the first thing that you will notice is the longer list of additions to the mod that actually increases weapons, decreases crafting and weapon levels, and also lowers the skill levels. So the stuff that makes the game easier has a longer list. First up, max level has been doubled to 500. So this makes it easier for those people that run out of skill points and for some reason don't realize that they can actually craft them or save skill points by going to buy them. So now you can keep going to level 500 and get every skill in the book if you wanted to. As mentioned in the first update news video, all tier 3 weapons are not mastery locked. So your sniper, M60, auto shotgun, desert vulture and M4A1 are available at level 20 while previously they were stuck behind the mastery. Even the schematics of tier 3 guns are now available in loot, so it is easier to obtain these weapons. Wasteland access has been made easier with increased hazmat fiber drops and radiation ready mods are also not locked behind the mastery anymore. All laser guns were buffed with a slight damage increase. With the thermal cooling mod, screamer heat has been decreased down to 0.1% per shot, which is three times less than what it was before. So this update is a major incentive to use lasers, along with the increased damage. It certainly provides a relief from screamers when using your laser guns. Medicines and medical items last longer. Some are a bit more expensive, but they have been buffed and have greater potency. We also mentioned in the update news that the White River Scout Trader is now able to give you 100 quests, which can ultimately provide a huge 20 faction points to each trader. She can also sell you all the weapon, tool and science crafting mods. Caitlin, our friendly wasteland trader, she also teaches all the crafting and science perks. 
and all class masteries if you have the correct faction points with her and the number of dukes. Again, this is making the classes easier to complete. The requirements for forging have been lowered, so entry level access to the forge is already starting at level 5 where it previously was level 10. Even the science crafting perk has been decreased. You can max out your science crafting perk at level 50 instead of the previous level 80. This is 30 levels lower than what it previously was. Advanced technology are the skills that give you a late game advantage. Even though the first skill is slightly higher, all the rest have been marked down so that you can now max it at level 140 instead of level 150. Legendary weapons are a pretty rare drop, however from version 4.1 all legendary weapons can now be also dropped in buried treasure chests and even come from airdrops. As mentioned, Kane remade the succubus physics body and re-tagged all the bones so hitboxes now can work properly. You can now actually hit her in the legs. Then, for me, the laser workbench is one of the most important changes. Many players dislike going to the final POI and attempting to get to that laser workbench. It is a complicated and confusing process for new players, and by moving the laser workbench to Anna's bunker, we have an excellent pathway to set up the final part of the story that is a real hellhole. So, I ask the question again, is Darkness Falls more difficult? Yes, by all means it is. However, so much of this difficulty is now balanced behind difficulty levels. To also prevent the game stage from increasing too high too fast, Kane has decreased mining and building experience gain, which as many of you know is a main contributor to the game stage creep. On a multiplayer server, those involved in mining and building can often outlevel their friends considerably and drive up the game stage even more. Game stage increases when going to the snow and desert biomes were also removed, so as to make sure that the difficulty game stage bonus, and by adding in a game stage biome bonus, didn't make the places completely unplayable. So you can see the huge balancing act that the Darkness Falls team is dealing with and what they are going through in an attempt to make this mod balanced for those playing it. I realize heatstroke and hypothermia have made some people cautious, but check your clothing stats as a shirt and a pair of pants can go a long way. I love this bit of realism that has been brought back into the game. After all, it is supposed to be a survival game and not just an experience grab. So what does Kane do for people that ask for a difficult mod and those that ask for it to be easier? By placing a lot of the challenges behind difficulty levels, you as a player can choose your level. Kane has made Darkness Falls more difficult for the added challenge, but has also provided many changes to make it simpler and more accessible for new players. And remember, that mountain can still be a fun experience. So, my fellow survivors, time to get back to the challenge, and I'll see you in the next one.